from giving us chills with the end of the world to saving it again with some new mysteries. The Umbrella Academy has probably entered a phase where it might fail. Don't believe me? Let me tell you how it's only leading to confusion. The third season left us with some major cliffhangers, and it's about time that fans get the answers to all of those questions. But with a unique storyline, there were some genuinely confusing things that might eventually lead the show to fail. The reason why I say this is pretty clear. The subplots in this season weren't as nicely handled as they should have been. So first of all, I never understood the return of Ben in a way that it turned him into one of the most disliked characters on the show. What are they up to? Who? The Umbrella Academy. Use your head, number two. If you remember, fans were inclined toward him in the first two seasons. You know, the nice, soft-spoken guy everyone loves. But when he appeared at the Sparrow Academy, things were different. Also, the thing that keeps pestering me is the fact that only Ben was in the Sparrow Academy as well, while the rest of the Sparrows were entirely new people. Why was that? Why did the rest of the Umbrella Academy not get their doppelgangers in the Sparrow Academy? Wasn't that a full possibility? It would have made much more sense that way. Also, about Ben. If you notice, his screen time eventually increased for no reason, really. You don't think it's weird that they forgot something here? What if there's a trap? What if we open it and it explodes? Please, they aren't that smart. But the showrunners definitely need to tell us what's so special about Ben. But that's not all. Ben's presence in the show like that wasn't the only thing that made the third season not so likable. In fact, the repetitive events have also turned pretty annoying now. Yes, the story's unique and fans love watching their favorite characters save the world. But why is there nothing new or even any big development to the story? The show's pretty vague about several things at once. We need to find out who did this. This is the thing. This is the main thing. Wait, is that all you want? Yeah. Because it's obviously dead, all right? He knew where we were born. He hated us in 63. Boom. But we never get answers for what happened before. The world is ending once again, and everyone knows for a fact that no matter what or how, these kids will eventually save the world. And even if they fail to do so, they won't really die and can always try again. It's like all of them have seven lives. All in all, the question is, why is the story stuck on the end of the world? It's more like the writers have little to no sympathy for the audience. The first two seasons were just amazing, and there have never been any complaints about them. But this third season really showed us so many reasons why the entire show could fail overnight. It's pretty crazy that it hasn't failed yet. The thing about the plot of this season was that it felt like the writers were cruel to the viewers. They straight up disappointed the fan base as they continued to talk about Doomsday. I thought we were done with the Doomsday, guys. What took Stanley, along with a few other billion people? Yeah, who I didn't know and don't care about. Weren't we? Well, this also makes me think that they will include this doomsday thing in the next season as well. And honestly, at this point, they should just let it happen. There's so much more to the show that they simply refuse to talk about. For example, why is this all even happening? And how was number five ever responsible for creating the commission? He pulled this on your roots before, and he's doing it again now. Oh, come on, five. No, 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 he lost the vote to come through the tunnel, yet here we are. Really sure that he could kill Luther? I think he could kill Luther Klaus and the rest of us without breaking a moral sweat. Oh, and the fact that Reginald Hargreaves is no one but an alien. Why didn't they mention it in the beginning? Why did we never get a hint of it? Also, who's that woman with them at the end? With these many questions, if they end up talking about Doomsday again, I bet most of us would just drop the show as a whole. Also, these questions only arise when there are way too many subplots. And let's be honest, season three was full of them. Most fans don't think it's fun when there's too much clutter in a series. At first, the show was straight and had a storyline one could understand. But now, there's so much to absorb, it's hard to understand what's even happening. Can't believe I'm saying this. I'm actually glad to see you guys. What's wrong? The hotel is changing. I've been walking around in circles, but it's... It's like the thing's alive. In fact, if you go to watch the third season without recalling the second season, you'll find yourself wondering, when exactly did this guy even enter the show? It's that complicated now. There are too many twists, and the characters just keep on developing without a break. It's hard to remember it all. The thing that comes to my mind is that the showrunners were simply trying to make the show a bit different from other superhero shows. But while doing so, they turned it into a potential mess. Well, advice from someone who's been there. 
don't do the math. That equation does not exist. The mystery that we were expecting has already left the show, and well, I understand why the ratings have fallen by now. The third season was full of too much information, and everyone thought that it was about time the show ended. After all, season four should serve as a perfect ending without making it super awkward. Even though the showrunners haven't confirmed whether the show will have another season or not, it's a thing that goes without saying since the show left us on a cliffhanger the last time we watched it. Also, Steve Blackman had said that he would want the show to have four seasons. So, yes, that's something fans can hope for. There are mysteries to be resolved and questions to be answered. But with that, fans also think that if the next season arrives, it should be the last. And I think they're right about that. The problem is that the first three seasons were heavily based on the three volumes of the comic series. But now, there's no volume left to use as a source material. This means that things should have been wrapped up in season three. But since they decided to go on and leave with a bunch of questions, hopefully the next season should bring an end to it. Otherwise, repeating the doomsday dilemma on top of watching the same characters die and come back to life would be way too repetitive. But they could come up with some other stuff in this new season. All the main characters in the series are superheroes. But when season three ended, none of them had any powers left. Oh, oh shit, my body. I look amazing. Luther's all svelte now. So, how are they even superheroes if their superpowers are gone? That means the show could enter season four with the characters exploring their way to finding their powers again. And while they continue to find their powers again, these siblings will definitely face trouble as well. Along with that, there's not much left to Reginald's story either. Fans already knew that he was an alien, but now fans need to know what exactly was his purpose behind all that he did. So yes, that's one topic of discussion and a potential subplot for the series where we'll hopefully get to see the entire backstory. You brought us here to die. That's not so. Somewhere in this hotel is the key to resetting the universe. We just need to find the sigil. I don't care about your sigil. The scope, if you ask, is already broad enough. And even if they don't have a comic volume to rely on, the writers should consider wrapping it up. The thing that considers everyone the most is the fact that if this season doesn't end the series, it'll most definitely fail. But there's another possibility too. What if they base the rest of the show somewhere outside the US now? After all, the source material being used also had settings in Japan. So it's a possibility that while they answer the already existing question, they might also prefer taking the characters in a newer setting. If that happens and they really give up the doomsday idea, then yes, there's a possibility that the show may live longer. But for now, with all that happened in season three, chances are the show would fail if not handled correctly. And that was all why the Umbrella Academy might fail. 